The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, and he bends you with his might that his arrows may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness, for even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. So this touches back to the earlier part where he's talking about children as life's longing for itself. And again, he offers this visualization and you can use the poetry to imagine yourself into the metaphor. I'm a bow. And from me, the children were shot. You can imagine that. I truly am the bow. My children, the arrow. And you can see their trajectory as they grow. From infants, toddlers, children, teens, adults. You can see that trajectory. But it's interesting here, he, he talks about the archer. Who is the archer? It's a visualization or it's a metaphor that helps you to see yourself from a different perspective. I'm not doing this. I'm not creating these children. The archer is using me as an instrument to shoot that arrow into the world, towards the infinite. So as you imagine yourself into the metaphor, again, what's happening is that we are we're taking the ego out of it. So what we're dropping is the attachment and the possessiveness. What we're dropping is using the relationship to satisfy egoistic needs. What we're dropping is false knowledge. As a result, what rises to the surface is your natural compassion. So you don't drop the language. Keep calling them my children. But drop the possessiveness keep the love keep the joy keep the play keep the insights that come from children so seeing children as life's longing for itself is a way of shifting the attention off the ego and more onto the infinite and the last line he says so he also loves the bow that is stable you're putting yourself back into the position of a child almost. You know, you look at the adult-child relationship, you're the one in control. The moment you invoke the archer, the archer is the one in control. He just picks me up, puts the arrow in and shoots it forth. So it's almost like you surrender or humble yourself back into that position again. The same position that a child is in, their sense of surrender and devotion to the adult. Strive to be like them. Surrender. Trust. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness. The surrender is to recognize that I'm not the one doing this. The archer is doing this. I'm just an instrument in his hands. What we're surrendering is the egoistic notion of doership, of control and recognizing that there is this unstoppable force of nature, life's longing for itself, that will go on. There's nothing any of us can do about it. I'm just an, a bow in his hands. So that's the surrender, is recognizing your helpless part of something larger than yourself. He loves also the bow that is stable. So this last word, stable, he's talking about the, the necessary conditions for that child's trajectory to be straight and true. There is a stability that allows for growth in the parent-child relationship. When there is structure, when the child knows what's coming next, when there are boundaries, consequences to bad behavior, the power dynamic is healthy. So there's a stability that is necessary for the 
for the growing and the nourishing of a child. And so he loves the bow that is stable. The bow is held steady. Arrow flies and the bow stays where it is. 